The answer is three over two. That's the answer, okay. So if you had a go and you think you kind of know when I'm a little go yourself first again, pause it and see if you can now get that answer. Right, now I'm gonna go through it. We use a skill, and it's well commonly used as well. I always teach some students, and we use it, it's K F C. Yeah, it's a great fast food place that we all love. You're probably thinking, how on earth does that relate to this? But wait, so what it stands for is keep, flip, change. Right, so then, how do we use that for this? So, the keep part refers to keep the first fraction. So we keep one half, so that is make sure the one better, as it is. Flip the second, so instead of a third, it's going to go to three over one. And we change the divide with the opposite, which is multiply. Opposite in maths means is inverse. Okay, that's the mathematical word for opposite inverse. And multiplying is the inverse of dividing. So then, similar to my other multiplying video, I'm not going to go through multiplying fractions too much compared to my last video, just a quick overview of it. You just multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. So that's where one times three, two times one, and that's where the answer three over two comes from. And there, some of you might have caught this on as well. Why don't you try, turn that to a mixed number. So then how many twos are into three is one, and then there's one half left over. Yeah, again, I do a video on converting between improper fractions and mixed numbers where I go in more detail. Right, so there is an example using KFC. I'll just go over this so it's a bit neat and you can see. There we go. Have a go now at this one. So I'll put A here. Have a go at three quarters divided by two fifths. So pause it, have a go. Can you get that? Okay, so you should pause it and have a go. The answer is 15 over eight, which then simplifies to, so some of you would do, be doing this, seven, one and seven eighths. That's what that simplifies to. Okay, so you didn't quite get the answer, but maybe now seeing the answer kind of triggers something, pause it so you can get it. Okay, so then using key flip change or KFC, Keep the first one, three quarters. We flip the second, so it's a two fifths, five over two, five halves, and then change the divide to a multiply. So then that's where we then got three times five, which is 15, four times two, which is eight. Right, now I'll do one more example because I think we need another one, okay? So question B, have a go at this one. Let's go for two sevenths divided by so two thirds okay so pause the video have a look at that one okay so your answer on this one you should have got six over 14 which then simplifies to three sevenths okay yeah again i'll do another video on simplifying fractions okay where i go in more detail about that yeah, yeah, if you see the answer now and you go, oh yeah, that's where I went wrong, you know, pause it and see if you can get it. Right, keep the change, KFC. Keep the first one, two over seven. I'll make that look better, there we go. And then flip the second one, so instead of two thirds, it's now three over two. Change the divide to a multiply. So you're left with six over 14, and it simplifies, oh, that, that's a bad 14, there we go. And then that simplifies to three sevenths. So, how does the question then differ and get a bit more harder? Right, so let's say we have four divided by, let's go to three quarters. Okay, so pause the video, have a go at that one. Okay, so I should have pause it, at least have a go, see how far I can get with keep that change. What makes it hard about this one? Well, it's just one fraction and an integer, which is a whole number. So we have to kind of convert that to a fraction. And if you watch my multiplying fractions video, you'll see what I do. Instead of four, you can change that to four over one. So that line in a fraction, I, get, I say this to my students all the time, okay? The line of fraction means divide. Yeah, means divide. 
really importantly that we know that we have to know that means divide four divided by one which is four so we turn four into four over one and then now it looks similar to what we've already got so we just use kfc so let's change it to we keep the first one so four over one flip the other one four thirds change the divide to multiply and then just go across so we're left with 16 over three and that simplifies down to how many threes and 16? Five, and what's left over? And a third. All right, I'll put you a question on now. Pause the video and have a go at this one. So we have, so three divided by four ninths. So pause the video, have a go at that. Okay, so to pause it, have a go, use this as our, as our example to get to this. Right, remember I said before, change that to three over one. And let's do keep up change. So then it'll be one third times nine over four. And then multiply fractions, multiply numerators, multiply denominators. So nine over 12, which simplifies to three quarters. Okay, so now let's step it up a little bit more. This will be our last one to go through now. So let's think you might have a mixed number yeah and this will come up these questions come up all the time so two and a fifth divided by four six okay pause the video and have a go at that one okay so this time i always say when you see a mixed number convert it to an improper fraction first so you get 11 fifths and now you can do what you normally do then. So 11 fifths divided by four six. And now that is similar to all these other fractions. Even though that's an improper fraction, still treat it the same way. So keep the first one, flip the second one, six over four, and then change the divide to multiply. Then you get 66 over 20. Yeah, and then as a mixed number, that's three and six over 20. Which then simplifies again, because I know some people will say, I'll put this over here, three and three tenths. Right, last one. Got an example here. Have a go at this as a question. F. I work from one side of the board to the other board, other side even. Right, so let's say we've got three and one half divided by, let's do five sevenths. So, pause the video, and go that one. Right, this time, I always say, convert your mixed number first, so that'll be seven over two, seven halves. And then, flip the other one, seven fifths, change the multiply. And then, so seven times seven, I'll write it down here, 49 over 10, which then simplifies to four and nine tenths. So, this video is about dividing fractions, I'll give you loads of examples there, all types of ways this question can come up in an exam. Really important skill, we've got to know it. Yet again, it's primary school and high school as well. So I hope you enjoyed that. You know, this has been Maths with Jacko. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos where I go through more topics. It's all completely free. Definitely make the most of it, especially with remote learning and we might have missed a lot of lessons as well. You know, it's all here. Take care and I'll see you next time.